Hello friends, in this video I will make a very useful and uh, fun project from recycled parts. Let's begin. First of all, let me show you what I will use. As you can see, this is electronic part of this uh, Sony subwoofer. I hope that you have seen my previous video about this device, but shortly, usual, this uh, IEC got fault and most of these devices. And I decided to not repair this and I cannot use this amplifier because it's digital and the proprietary use and it's uh, very hard to use this. And that's why I decided to use only this uh, PCB with power supply. This is a PCB, it has a 24 volts output on normal use and 18 volts on standby use. It's controlled by this gray pin. I also will use this module, you will see the name in the description. Essentially, this is a 2.1 amplifier and needs a 24 volts uh, input voltage. It works from 9 volts to 24 volts. This is the volume, it's a digital volume. And this is satellites. And this is subwoofer adjustment. First of all, I will take out those parts that I don't need. I forgot to tell you that this module has Bluetooth input. And I will use Bluetooth input. It also has uh, AUX in, but I will not use this function. I will use only Bluetooth input. Now this is power supply PCB. And this is very simple. This is the main voltage input and this is output, 24 volts output. What I need is this uh, standby pin. I have to see how this standby pin, standby pin is working. Let's measure the output voltage without uh, any input on standby pin. And we have 18 volts. As I remember, when we enter 3.3 uh, volts on this uh, standby pin, then voltage goes up to 24 volts. Input voltage is 0 volts on uh, standby pin. This is the base of the transistor. This is the emitter of the transistor and the, this is the collector. And I presume when I apply voltage on this pin, then output voltage will increase to 24 volts. Now let's test this theory. This is uh, output. This is standby output voltage. Now let's apply voltage on this pin. As you can see, output voltage goes to 24 volts. Without uh, voltage, without input voltage on standby pin, output voltage drops to 18 volts. Now I will, I will tell you how I want to use this uh, standby pin. I will put a switch on this pin because I want to have uh, two, different mo two different modes. I want to have a low power mode on 18 volts and high power mode on 24 volts because I don't want this module to be overloaded and uh, usually I don't need a high power and I want to 
obtain uh, low power consumption. Now let's see how we can mount this module on this uh, plas plastic part. Now let's find the best position for this module. Unfortunately, I can't uh, find a good position because of these holes. So I will replace this piece of plastic. I don't have other solution. So I've cut this piece down and I made another piece of plastic. And now I have to make a hole here to mount this speaker output. Now this project is almost ready. Let me show you what I have did. I made this piece of plastic. So I have made the piece of plastic to mount uh, this uh, module. I have took out these connectors from uh, PCB because I want to solder the wires. Here I've mounted this uh, output satellite speaker connections and now I just to have to solder the wires. Now we are ready for the first test. This is the final look. This one is the volume encoder. This is satellites and this is subwoofer. This is low val low power and high power. This is the output speaker for the satellites. I made all the connection. This is the power and this is the standby. Now first of all let's test the voltages. Let's turn the power on. Output voltage is 18 volts. You should be careful because this module supports 24 volts only on 8 ohm speakers. If you use 4 ohm speakers, maximum supply voltage must be 12 volts. Now let's turn on to high power and let's test again the voltage. We have 24 volts. Now we move again to 18 volts. And now you should see this is the power LED. Now it's searching to connect on the Bluetooth. Now let's connect one speaker. Now let's connect to Bluetooth. I believe this is the device. Also you can use a special app. Producer made a special app for this module but I will not use now. Now let's play some uh, no copyright music. There is a high quality. Now let's put everything together and make the final test. Now this project is ready. I've connected the subwoofer to these two wires and now everything should work perfect. I made a lot of research but in uh, detailed instruction of this module I didn't find if this supports a 4 ohm speaker on a 24 volts uh, voltage supply. And that's why I decided to make test on uh, low power and uh, after that uh, maybe I will make some test to high power. Now let's put everything together and make the final test. I have a small problem because uh, I don't have enough space here. The depth is too small and the length of this module is too big. 
I didn't think of this. As you can see, I need uh, one centimeter and I don't know what to do. Now this project is over and I made it some tests and I must say that I am very happy with the result of this project. Now I've connected uh, two Sony satellites, this Sony subwoofer and now let's play some music. The sound quality is very good and I uh, recommend this module for you to make a project like this. If you made it so far please give a big like and if you want to see more projects like this please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.